All right, so in this lesson, I will show you where you can look for premium themes and where I buy most of my themes myself. So this website is called, as you can see, themeforest.net. So once you're here, if you want, you can look for WordPress uh, blog themes. And as you can see, we have over 6,000 different themes. So as you can see, you can get uh, a nice looking theme for $19. And there are a couple of very important factors which you should consider before purchasing a premium theme. So first of all, you should check uh, how many reviews it has. Uh, does it have a good reviews? Usually if the theme doesn't even have at least four stars, I never buy these type of themes and it should have at at least 10 good reviews so as you can see this theme doesn't cost much it just costs 19 dollars and it has a five star rating and 50 good reviews it has 3.2k sales so usually if a certain theme doesn't even have at least a couple of hundred sales uh, don't buy these themes and the most important thing is uh, you should check when was the last time this theme was updated so this theme was updated uh, not so long ago and uh, this is very important because you don't want to purchase an outdated theme because it might not work as expected you might have some issues with it and so on so we can click on this theme and check how it looks so to do this you want to click live preview and from here we will be able to see how this theme is going to look so basically if you're going to use this theme you will be able to create uh, these type of blogs as you can see there are some different styles available of course it doesn't mean that these are the only styles which you will be able to use because you can create your own unique look but for example if we would purchase this theme which costs just $19 we would be able to create uh, a blog which would look something like this so as you can see, this is quite nice looking blog. So let's say you like this theme and you want to purchase it and have it on your website. So installation process is a little bit different. So let's say once you have purchased this theme, you should go to your profile and select downloads. As you can see right here, I have some themes, some plugins which are previously purchased. And for example, let's say this is this is going to be your theme. And first of all, you want to download it. So to do this, you, you would have to click right here and select installable WordPress file only just click download and once you have downloaded this file you should download this license certificate and purchase code because you will need a code which is going to be inside that pdf file to activate a certain theme so once the download has completed it we can go to our wordpress website and to install that theme we would have to go right here in the parent section click themes one more time and click add new so instead for searching that theme in this whole list we would have to click upload theme and you would have to upload that zip file which we downloaded previously as you remember it was called installable wordpress file only so you want to add this file right here click install and once the installation is complete you will get a message if you want to activate this theme Theme, just click activate and once the activation is complete you should get somewhere a notification that if you want to use that theme you have to add your purchase code first just click on that message and open that PDF file which we downloaded previously and just enter that code that's it as you can see it's quite simple but most of theme creators they usually charge for this procedure about $20 or $30 but you can do it yourself